uh, we're asked to use these identities to prove the following is true. These are always similar. These are proving the half angle formally. So um, all of what you do is you state your cos A add B. Now that's given in your formula booklet. That's cos A cos B subtract sine A sine B like that. And then cos A subtract B or cos A subtract B is cos A cos B add sine A sine B. Now what we're going to do, because I've got a cos, take away another cos, I'm going to take these two things away. So cos of A take away, uh, sorry, A plus B subtract cos of A subtract B. Well, what would I get? Just think about this. I'm going to get this is going to cancel with this, negate each other, whereas this, I've got a negative of this, and I'm going to take off another one, so I'm going to have negative 2 of that. So I'm going to have negative 2 sine A sine B. Now at this point, you let your P equal A plus B. So you let P equal A plus B. You let Q equal A take away B. So Q is equal to A take away B. Okay? Uh, so that that could be P and that could be Q. And also let's replace the A and B. So if I add these equations together, if I add them, 1 add 2, I would get that 2A is equal to P plus Q. So A is P plus Q over 2. And if I took them away, if I did 1 take away 2, I would get that 2B equals P subtract Q. So B is P subtract Q over 2. Now I can substitute P for A plus B, Q for A take away B, uh, P plus Q over 2 for A, and P subtract, two over, uh, P subtract Q over 2 for B. So I can write that cosine of P take away cosine of Q is equal to negative 2 uh, sine of P plus Q over 2 cosine, oh sorry, not cosine, another sine, sine of P subtract Q over 2. And let's take a look at what we wanted. That's exactly what we wanted here, and we've got it. Okay, then it says, hence, find all the solutions between 0 and 180 to the following equation. So I'm just going to move down here. Hence, so use hence. Now, I look at this, and I see... Sine, uh, cosine 5x plus sine uh, 3x take away a cosine x. So for me, the only link between this part and the part above is this here, cosine of 5x take away cosine of x, looks like the following two things up here. So I could state, let p be equal to 5x and let q equal a single x. And rewrite this whole thing as cosine 5x take away cosine single x add sine 3x is equal 0. Now these two things here, I can use the formula for here. I would say that these two things would be equal to negative 2 sine of, I add uh, the p and the q and divide by 2. So I add these, 5x add x over 2, which would be 3x. And then I take them away and divide by 2 which should be 5x take away x is 4x divided by 2, which is 2x, so sine 2x plus sine 3x is equal 0. Okay, so what could I do here? I could factorise um, sine 3x, so sine 3x factorised out, I get negative 2 sine 2x add 1 is 0. So I get on the one hand sine 3x is equal to 0, or negative 2 sine 2x add 1 is equal to 0. So, um, the things I'm looking to solve, again, is sine 3x is 0, or sine 2x is going to be equal to a half. So, 3x is the inverse sine of 0. So, 3x gives me 0, if I do that on the calculator. And 2x is the inverse sine of a half, so 2x is going to equal 30. Now, let's check all the solutions I want. Okay, now, I want solutions between 0 and 180, but because in this case I'm tripling the x, I'm going to go between 0 and 540. So that would be 180, that would be 360, that would be 540 there. And I'm looking for all the zero values, so there's one here, 
one here, one here. But I'm not going to include that one because when I divide by 3, I get 180, but I have to be less than 180. So 3x is going to be 0, 180, or 360. Now, in the 2x case, I'm only going between 0 and 360. I only care about this part of the graph. Okay, and I know 30 is one answer, so 30 from the bottom there, so there'll be another answer, 30 from 180, should be 150, and uh, will there be another answer? There'll be one here, but it's outside the range. So therefore, uh, my two x's are 30 and 150. So overall, what are my x's? Well, my x's are going to be as follows. I'm going to have a zero, a half of that, which is 15, um, a third of that which is 60, a half of that which is equal to 75, and a third of that which is equal to 120. All of those in degrees and all, all that's done now. And you could just type it in there in, in the top to check each of those are an answer.